Hello friends, welcome to Susan and John MathTube. In this video, we are going to continue the right circular cylinder type 1 that we studied in the last video. Okay, now this can be called as a very special question because you will see a cylinder, a sphere, a plane, a circle and a line all together in the same problem. And basically, you should be good with lines, planes, spheres, and intersection of sphere and a plane. Okay, our aim is very simple. We are going to find the radius of the cylinder and axis of the cylinder so that we can use the method we learned in the last video, type 1 method. Okay, now look at this. Here, what they do is they will give you the guiding curve. And the guiding curve will be given as a circle because this is a right circular cylinder. Now, the guiding curve will be given as the intersection of a plane and a sphere. Okay, let's write one question. Find the right circular cylinder. So, they are asking you, find the equation of the right circular cylinder whose guiding curve, by the way, the guiding curve of a right circular cylinder will be a circle so the guiding curve is a circle okay now comes the interesting part for a mathematician and maybe the most annoying part as a student is just the difference in perspective okay so look at this it's very interesting they use the word circle but they have given a spear. Can you see a spear? And if you learn spears, you might know that the intersection of a spear and a plane. Can you see? Again, they look, this is a spear and this is a plane. Now, what we mean by the circle is the intersection of the spear and the plane. Okay, I'll show you some graphics. Can you see the blue color plane intersecting with the sphere? Or this picture looks better. Can you see? A circle is formed at the intersection. Or you can look at this picture. This is like kind of like perfect. See? A sphere and a plane intersect and a circle is formed. Now remember, our cylinder will be like this. So our job is very simple. We have to find the radius of the cylinder and axis of the cylinder. Actually, we don't need the axis. We point one point on the axis and the direction cosines. That's our aim. So here. Okay, if you didn't copy the question, let me make it very clear. They used the word circle. But what did they give you? They gave a spear. And the spear is x square plus y square plus z square minus x minus y minus z equal to 0. And they have given a plane. Can you see the plane? The blue color surface. That is x plus y plus z equal to 1. But... I'm going to take it to the left side. Okay, now, um, like what you call, in spheres, we have done, we do this problem regularly. That is intersection of sphere and a plane. So I want you to look at the picture. Can you see capital C is the center of the sphere? So that is like very easy to calculate. The center of the sphere will be, do you remember the method? The coefficient of x divided by minus 2. So that will give me 1 by 2. The coefficient of y divided by minus 2. Coefficient of z that is minus 1 divided by minus 2. So this is capital C. And then capital R means radius of the sphere. And that's also very easy to find. Square all the quantities 1 by 4, 1 by 4. 1 by 4 minus the constant in the equation of the sphere. There is no constant, so it's going to be 0. So that gives me the value r is equal to 
2 how much yeah root 3 by 2 so I found capital R I found the center now P P I don't know whether you remember or not P stands for the perpendicular distance between the center that is uh, what do you call 1 by 2 1 by 2 1 by 2 and the plane the equation of the plane is x plus y plus z equal to 1 so do you remember the formula to calculate the distance it's very easy put a modulus and you plug in this point that is 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 minus 1 first of all you have to take it to the left side that will make it things that will make things very comfortable the whole divided by length of the normal length of the normal means you take the coefficients of x y z so that gives me this 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 will get cut so 1 by 2 root 3 okay so we have the center of the sphere 1 by 2 1 by 2 1 by 2 radius of the sphere that is how much did we get root 3 by 2 perpendicular distance from center to the plane that is 1 by 2 root 3 now look at this in spheres you learn something called the intersecting condition we learn two conditions in sphere one is tangent condition and another is intersecting condition and it's very easy to understand from the picture whether you know intersecting condition or not it's not rocket science look at this can you see r r and p Pythagoras theorem simple Pythagoras theorem that is the intersection condition that is we get r square equal to um, r square plus p square this you know 3 by 4 I just squared this this also you know 1 by what will be 4 into 3 12 so take a calculator and calculate it you will get r is equal to root 2 by root 3 you will get 8 by 12 8 by 12 simplified will be 2 by 3 and when you take square root it will be root 2 by root 3 okay that's it now our job is so what did we do I wanted to look at the picture once more look at this this is our cylinder can you see the cylinder this is what we are trying to find and right now we found the radius so that is how much root 2 by root 3 now our job is to find a point on the axis and the direction cosines and if you did not watch the previous video pause the video right now and watch it so now our job is to find the axis axis but it's very interesting to observe look at this um, can you see the equation of the plane that means any normal any normal if you know the equation of the plane then that means any normal to the plane will have direction ratios 1 1 1 that is coefficient of x coefficient of y coefficient of z and the most interesting part is here the axis of the cylinder are you able to see the cylinder here here we go uh, I'll make a rough picture of the cylinder okay now look at this uh, the axis of our cylinder is the normal to the plane that one you have to realize so direction ratios of axis is equal to 1 1 1 therefore direction cosines of axis because in the last video I told you we had to find projection so we need direction cosines and that's very very simple you divide by root under 1 squared plus 1 squared plus 1 squared that gives me this now another question do you know any point on the axis ah okay you know that point 1 by 2 1 by 2 1 by 2 that's it my friends now we are ready we know everything we want I hope you remember this picture I hope you remember this picture the only difference I'm going to make here is uh, we will draw the standard picture and here we have our axis and the point on the axis is Mr. C the center 1 by 2 1 by 2 1 by 2 and this one I'm going to assume locus point and direction cosines are 1 by root 3 1 by root 3 1 by root 3 and here we go I'm going to mark M and the radius is root 2 by root 3 
So ready to apply the formula. So please write the equation is given by CP square is equal to PM square plus CM squared. So how do you calculate CP? Distance. Uh, that will be your homework. X minus 1 by 2 the whole square plus Y minus 1 by 2 the whole square plus Z minus 1 by 2 the whole square is equal to PM square will be radius squared. So 2 by 3 plus now this is very important what is cm look at this what is cm distance it is the projection of cp on the line and that's very easy to find put a square first otherwise you might forget that square now l into x minus 1 by 2 plus m into y minus 1 by 2 plus n into z minus 1 by 2 okay so simplification is your homework do it very carefully simplify then you will get equation the required cylinder okay now i want you to see the final picture can you see we have a plane and the plane intersects the sphere so that we can see the circle and then here goes the axis and the cylinder i'll show you a clear picture here see I told you the problem is very special. Can you see a plane? Can you see a sphere? Can you see a circle? A line? And finally, our cylinder. I hope this video is useful for you. So, I will be back with more videos. And in the next video, we will be discussing about the cone. Uh, so, till then, my friends, bye. Anyway, before I leave, I'll give you a homework. So, try one question. Find the equation of a cylinder with circular guiding plane, guiding curve given by the circle. Okay, so comment below whether you are able to do this question or not. And I'll strongly recommend practice, practice and practice a lot. Then only you'll be able to score marks. Okay, so we'll meet soon. Till then, bye.